Praise be to God. We want to thank God for this Wednesday. We thank God who has been good to us. And let us pray before we get into the word of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for this time. We thank you because we have come to learn your word. And by studying your word, we shall have life and life everlasting. Father, we pray that you give, inspire us to learn, open up our understanding, open up our perception to be able to perceive your word according to your will. And let us do what your will is, so that in that we shall be blessed and your name will be glorified in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. My name is Sylvia Senkali. And I'm grateful for the interpreter of the day. Uncle Brian. Praise be to God. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, a theme. And that is do it God's way. Do everything you've got to do in God's way. Right from the beginning, God knew what man needed. Imagine he's the one who created man. He made him after uh, in his own image and after his likeness. And therefore he knew exactly what man needs for his being. So there is no way we can run away from God's setting. We simply need to know God's way. And then we follow everything in God's way. Of course when you do what the master needs then you will be blessed you will be pleasing to your master and you will be comfortable with your master praise be to God so in our Christian journey in our day to day living we need to understand what God's way is and not only know what God's way is but also to do things God's way. Praise be to God. There are often things that I've been learning about our God. Our God is a fair God. He is a just God. He does things in the right time. He does things that we need at the right time. He prepares us for the next level. And when we also learn to work according to God's way, then life is always very interesting. Praise be to God. We shall turn to the book of Joshua, chapter 6, verse 5. In the book of Joshua, generally we, we shall only skip a few verses. But uh, we, we look at the destruction of Jericho. When the children of Israel were faced with one big hurdle. They had this big mountain before them. Those who have done theology and research, they will tell you how big the, the, the wall of Jericho was. They will tell you the heights of Jericho and how it was very difficult for anyone to just come and defeat the, 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 the people of Jericho. But when you do it God's way, Jericho can always come down. Praise be to God. So when you read uh, verse 5 of chapter 6, Joshua, it says, It shall come to pass when they make a loud blast with the ram's ham, with the ram's horn, and when you hear the sound of the trumpet, that all the people shall shout with a great shout, then the wall of the city will fall down flat, and the people shall go up every man straight before him. <laughs> Praise be to God. 
ensajja era bwe muri bulira eddoboze eriye ngombe abantu bonna ne bali okabogera waguru ne doboze dene bugwe owe kibuga nalyo ka agwira dalala wansi abantu ne bali nya buli muntu mu masoge God when God wants us to do things his way Katonda yaga tukole bintu mungeriye He also gives us instructions Era tuwane biragiro God has been giving instructions from day 1 of the creation Katonda okuvya dala kuntandikwa eyo kutondebwa kwa fe yatuwa ebiragiro And when a child is also born in this world No mwana bwacho bwazali bwa musibuno They are given instruction about almost everything Awebwa ebiragiro kubulichimu So the instructions God was giving the Israelites He instructed them to shout He instructed them to go round Jer- the wall of Jericho seven times Each day they were supposed to do it once for six days But on the seventh day they were supposed to do it seven times and on the seventh time they had to shout aloud and they were told that once you do that the wall of Jericho will fall down flat it means every man will be able to walk straight into the city Praise be to God. When you learn to do or when you decide to do it God's way. Even the biggest wall can come down. God can give you a way to maneuver even what you didn't expect to go through. So when you read in uh, still Joshua chapter 6 verse 15. It says, but, but it came to pass on the seventh day that they arose early about the dawning of the day and marched around the city seven times in the same manner. On that day, only they marched around the city seven times. Six, please. Verse six. Sixteen. Verse sixteen. And the seventh time it happened when the priests blew the trumpets that Joshua said to the people, Shout, for the Lord has given you the city. 17. Now the city shall be doomed by the Lord to destruction, it and all who are in it. Only Rahab the harlot shall live she and all who are with her in the house because she she hid the messengers we, that we sent and you by all means abstain from the accused things lest you become a, a cast when you take the accu- of the accused things and make the camp of Israel a curse and trouble it but all the silver and gold and vessels of bronze and iron are consecrated to the Lord. They shall come into the treasury of the Lord. So the people shouted when the priests blew the trumpets. And it happened when the, priests, when the people heard the sound of the trumpet and the people shouted with a great shout that the wall fell down flat. Then the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. Praise be to God. It shows the orders that God had given Joshua for the children of Israel to follow. The, each step that they had to do along the way if they were to achieve victory. Many of us as Christians or as born again we do not want to follow instructions. Many times we want to be bright or un- um, intelligent in our own way. When we are un- instructed on what we are supposed to do step by step 
we quickly in, uh, interject and say the spirit of the Lord is already upon us. And we have a lot of anointing on us that we don't even need to follow instructions. But God is a God of order. He follows a particular order for things to happen. I, I am a teacher by profession. I, I often tell students that if you do not heed to the teacher's instructions, there is no way God can permit you to pass. Because we are standing in the position of God. And if you refuse to listen to us, God cannot allow us to get ashamed. Because the instructions we are giving you to follow are to help you to succeed. So you must be obedient and listen to our instructions. So that you can achieve what you want to achieve. Praise be to God. I often watch uh, news when results are back. I have never seen any child testifying that I was disobedient to the teacher's instructions but anyway I passed. It is only those who say I was obedient to the teacher's instructions the teachers helped us and therefore I made it. So even you as a Christian you cannot walk a successful Christian life unless you listen to instructions and obey them. So one of the things we have to pay attention to is learn to, be, to obey God's instructions. If God told these Israelites to go around once every day for six days then they decided to do it for five. I believe God would not have fulfilled what he had said. But every time you are obedient to instructions, because instructions are being given to you every day, your pastor comes and gives you instructions of what you're supposed to do. The pastor says you need to pray. The pastor says put up an altar in your home. The pastor says you need to fellowship. But if you say I will not pay attention to all that. Uh, God, God is then going to bless me. Then I believe you're wrong. So you need to do things God's way. Praise be to God. So when the Israelites followed the instructions God had given them. In verse 20 he says so they shouted, the priests shouted. The, the, when the, 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 the priests blew the trumpets the people also shouted. So you need to follow instructions so that you get what you need from God. Point number two. You must have faith. Have faith even in difficult situations. If you are going to do it God's way. He says you must have faith in him. There are things that appear impossible to you. But he says all things are possible to he who believes. When you read the book of Ezekiel chapter 37. The God asked prophet Ezekiel do you believe these bonds can live again? Do you believe this can be a great army again? Prophet Ezekiel according to his own understanding he says well to me I don't know but according to you all things are possible. God needs people who have faith. So doing it God's way means you must have faith in God. Praise be to God. Doing it God's way 
means you must be patient. God does not rush over things. He knows the right time when to do everything. You cannot say you need something, you need a big shoe for a foot that, that cannot fit in it. You are still immature for a given a miracle. But you want to get in there. The problem, of course you will get problems if there was an attempt for you to get there. Praise be to God. You, God wants people who are patient. That is why those who he has given the Holy Spirit he gives them a gift of patience so that they learn to wait on the Lord. God's word does not come in a very fast way that you cannot even comprehend things. Praise be to God. You must be obedient. I've said that. When you read in the book of uh, 1 Samuel chapter 15, we see that God had instructed King Saul to go and destroy the Amalekites. And he had given him clear instructions. Go and destroy everything. Kill the people, their property, their gods. Make sure nothing is left. What did King Saul do? He and his people reserved some things. And when they kept them aside, now failing to follow instructions causes you to tell lies. When you are asked, did you do everything I told you? You begin by saying yes, but then you say but. Now when you bring in but, God does not know but. He only gives clear instructions. And he knows that the person he created in his image and after his likeness has the capacity to understand. Has the capacity to to interpret the instructions he has given. When he says destroy everything, he does not put bats. He says go and do what I have said. Praise be to God. Amen. So as believers, we need to learn to follow these instructions. This means you're going to do things the way God does them. And once you follow God's instructions, of course you'll be blessed. If you do not do what God has instructed, when you continue in the book of 1 Kings chapter 15, you see now uh, Prophet Samuel beginning to ask, did you follow what God instructed you to do? And at first, of course, Saul says, yes. But, but you know, yeah, you know, I did everything. Then the prophet asks again, how about what I'm hearing? Oh, oh, what is that in the backyard? Then now, you know, as human beings, we like saying, hey, hey, you're saying that one. Hey, those ones. You know the people. God, God does not take excuses. God does not want excuses. Read the Bible clearly. You will understand God's way. You will understand that finding excuses is unacceptable to God. Praise be to God. And surely King Saul lost his kingship. Because he failed to do things God's way. When God wants you to do things his way, he also has a purpose. Praise be to God. God. Amen. One, he's testing our level of obedience. 
Do you listen and follow what has been instructed of you? Are you patient with him? Are you going to put him at gunpoint so that he does things your way? Are you going to pester him so badly that he must do something the way you want it to be done? God wants you to do things his way. Praise be to God. And one of the other ways of how God wants things to be done is to be persistent. God is also persistent with us. God created man in the first place. Man sinned against God. But God did not abandon man. He still kept on calling upon man. He made all sorts of ways to call man to come back to him. He sent prophets to the man so that he would listen and obey. He sent judges so that they would speak to this man. He even sent his own son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for man. Even to the present day, the Holy Spirit is around to convict us of all sin, to convict us of righteousness because God is still interested in man. So that level of persistence is what God wants man to be. Praise be to God. Amen. That is why he says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. For all that you need. He says be anxious for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. That is God's way. You cannot say, I don't know God's way. God's way is clear. It is in his word. He, has, he spells it out to us every day. It is upon us to learn God's way. He says for everything that you need. Through prayer and supplication. And thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. What do you need in this life? How do you want to manage in this life. He says, you come to me, all you who labor, and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He has a way for everything. If you need wisdom, he says in his word, that ask of him, because he gives generously to all who ask. He only needs you to ask. He says in Matthew 7, 7, ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door shall be opened. That is God's way. Praise be to God. For whoever asks, it shall be given. For whoever knocks, the door shall be opened. For whoever seeks, they will find. Don't go around looking for God's way. Don't go around doing things your way. There is a clear God's way. And if you want to succeed in life, if you want to have peace in life, the word of God is clear. Jesus said, my peace I give to you. Not the way the world gives, but I give you my peace. He knows what you're going through. He knows how you need to handle life. He knows when you are hungry. He knows when you are left alone. He knows when you are distressed. He knows when you are hard hit. He knows when when you are in serious trouble, he has an answer to every situation. He has a way for you to get out of trouble. 
Praise be to God. Amen. He gives us the Holy Spirit to continuously remind us of what we are supposed to do. And when we do that, that is God's way. Praise be to God. So don't get into confusion. Don't get mixed up. Don't be perturbed. Don't, 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 don't lose heart. Because God has a clear way. He has a clear way for the young people. He has a clear way for the children. He tells the young children, obey your parents if you want to live long. He says in the book of Proverbs, my child, my son, listen to my instructions. Listen, listen, listen and listen. Obey my instructions. If you do that, you will have understanding. You will have wisdom. You will have knowledge. You will be successful to a young man and young woman. He has clear ways he wants to guide us. In, in the book of uh, Psalms chapter 119, verse 11, he guides a young man. How will you manage to go through the, the, the challenges of the day? He says by following what the word of God is. Praise be to God. Amen. To the elders, he has a way for them. He talks to the elder women and he tells them not to have so many words. He says they need to help the younger women how to manage their homes. In the book of, in the book of, Tide, in the book of uh, Timothy, he, he wants them to know how to manage their lives. So that even the married women should know how to live their lives. Praise be to God. So God has a way for us to follow. And we need to do things his way. If we do that, life becomes easy. When people talk about life skills, how to manage life, the, the way to manage life is right in the Bible. The way to manage life is in the Bible. It is in the word of God. Because there is a message for everyone. And so once we learn to do that, once we accustom ourselves to reading the Bible, make it a habit in our lives. Make it a habit to pray. Make it a habit to worship God. Make it a custom to you. Sometimes when, the, when I'm traveling and I feel I'm, I, I'm getting afraid, I quickly pick on a song and I begin to sing. But the more I sing, I get energized. I feel the fear that was attacking me is disappearing. And so I can co complete my day successful. Do things God's way. And by doing that, there is no mountain that you cannot overcome. There is no valley that you cannot jump. There is no trouble that comes your way that you cannot overcome because God wants us to be victorious. God, God says when he's in us, we are more than conquerors because Christ strengthens us. And so the more he strengthens us, we are more than conquerors. We have testimony and we can go back to him. Apostle Paul said, this is the confidence we have that when we go to him, when we ask him, he answers our prayers. And because he answers our prayers, we have what we need. Praise be to God. So do things God's way you will see a blessing you will have peace you will, your heart will rest you will not be troubled by the issues of the world you will take time as, you will take things as time comes 
you will go step by step in life and you will be a, a, a testimony to many people many will look at you and they will see Christ in you they will look at you and they will admire the Christ in you praise, praise be to God Amen. let us pray Father in the name of Jesus we want to thank you for the word we have just heard we thank you because you give us clear instructions of how to live life so that we can live successfully in this life and inherit your kingdom. Father, we pray that the word we've heard will continue to work in our lives. Let it always resound in our ears that we shall be reminded on a daily basis of what you have instructed us to do, of what your way looks like. And so we shall be able to walk a Christian life that has no blame, that is spotless and we shall inherit your kingdom. We ask all this believing and trusting in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May God bless you.